Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, once again, we'll talk a little bit more about the upcoming Arnold Classic. Uh, I can't say it enough times. It's really shaping up to be one of the most competitive uh, lineups ever in the Arnold Classic. It's probably better, this lineup... It's probably a better lineup than the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Uh, depending on a few different factors, there are a few different variables. Uh, the placings can, can go in a number of different directions. Uh, you have the two favorites. Uh, most people are... Going William Monac, Big Rami first and second. Uh, maybe not in that order. Uh, some are going one way, some are going the other way. But for the most part, I mean, most of the people making their predictions are having those two for one and two. But you have uh, a few people in there that can slip in, slip in there and surprise a lot of people and take it. You, like I said in the previous video, we can't count out Dexter Jackson. Uh, he, it's I, Like I said in the previous video, it's going to be his last year, and he's, I think he's going to push it to make sure he goes out in style. You got Cedric McMillan, who typically does well in the auto classic. Uh, we've said it over and over again. This guy has all the tools. If he nails his conditioning, he should have been Mr. Olympia. Uh, who else we got over here? Uh, we got uh, Patrick Moore. That was very, very impressive in his 10th place finish in Olympia. Many people had him... Placing higher, this guy, I said it also in a previous video, he's somebody that can, depending on the changes he made from the Olympia to now, he's somebody that can slip in there and, believe it or not, steal the show, win it. Sergio Oliva Jr., who... Looks like he's coming into his own now. He looks much more impressive than he's ever looked before in his uh, update pictures that he's been putting out. You have uh, uh, Josh Lenardowitz, uh, who has, when he first came up on the scene, everybody was looking at him as being possibly a very serious contender for the Olympia title. Sat, he's had some time off, had some health issues. If those are behind him and he can put it together, he's a very, he can be very dangerous. We've seen in the past in his third place finish at the Arnold that this guy knows how to hit his conditioning. Then you got people that were not, uh, somebody that have, nobody's really talking about. Lina Baiki. Uh, like uh, Cedric McMillan, he's always had issues with his conditioning. But structurally, uh, he, has the, he has all the tools. He has the uh, the shape, the flow, the full muscle bellies. This is somebody uh, who, if he nails the conditioning, and he's never really come even come close to it, but he has what it takes if he nails the conditioning to win it. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, but the potential is there. He has what it takes. Uh, I'm probably leaving out a number of people. Steve Kuklo. He's made, over the last few years, he's made a lot of improvements. 
structurally, structurally sound, and he's a big man, and his conditioning is beget, getting better and better. He's somebody that I had I had him placed sixth, but can easily slip up a couple of placings, uh, slide up a couple of placings, depending on uh, a few variables. Uh, Akeem Williams, the guy's a the Brooklyn beast. Guy is a beast. He's a massive man. Uh, he's another one that's been having issues with his conditioning throughout his career, but he looks like he's coming into his own. His conditioning has been improving over his last few shows. His update pitches. He looks like he's pretty much on track to hit his all-time best conditioning. He's somebody that I don't have in my top seven, but definitely has the potential to shoot up uh, into the one of the top slots in this show. What it comes down to is... We have a, a very stacked lineup. Uh, it's going to be, it should be a really good, exciting show. And like I said in the beginning of this video, depending on a, a few different variables, a few different factors, the placings can go uh, in a number of different directions. Let me know what you think about what I said in this video. Please let me know in the comment section. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, I would like to know that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.